Today we are going to explore the latest superior OS extended on the Redmi Note 8 and let me tell you guys so I have been trying out ROM for a very very long time and I have used superior OS before so but for some reason this ROM is actually one of the roughest one I have tried on my Redmi Note 8 and so stick around we will explore the ROM and try to find out the details together so as the ROM booted up let's start by checking the Android version and security patch level so we'll go to setting and about phone section so as you can see here superior OS is based on Android 14 so it's an Android 14 based ROM and if you go to a few other things so if we go to build a number device status as you can see here everything and also if you go to android version as you can see 14 and this is the official version of superior extended rom and the security level is from february so it is the latest one we got now this rom actually does looks pretty good and it does come with all the features you find in another roms so it also got few other features extra features and I do really like the way the setting panel looks and also you can tweak the setting and in going with the connectivity section uh, Wi-Fi Bluetooth and SIM card data and everything's working perfectly fine even my SIM is there I'm trying out everything so everything those things are working perfectly fine and we also got Xiaomi parts option so you can like calibrate your display setting so as you can see Xiaomi parts option is there few other things are here like we also got always on display so always on display also working here so if you if you like always on display you can set up always on display to here and all the goodies of Android 14 are available in this ROM there is no issue with those things sounds and everything working perfectly fine I haven't faced any issue with those things now coming with the issues first of all if you go to security section we have fingerprint and face unlock here uh, the fingerprint is I would say is like worse than other ROMs it does work but it's pretty slow let me show you so it can it misses almost most of the time actually as you can see here it did turn on this time and it miss it turned on so it misses the fingerprint and the face unlock is there but it is pretty sluggish so it's also not reliable so security section is a little bit weird here usually I don't see fingerprint issue on any ROM but in this ROM I don't really know what's going on now coming with the main issue with of this ROM actually so I'm having some weird issue with this ROM related to the battery although the battery option got all the features available so like like the option to select ampere and charging control all those things first charging as you can see you can select ampere and also charging control available now the weird issue I'm facing is that my device is rebooting itself whenever I'm doing something heavy it's rebooting itself and also it is boot looping although the device have plenty of battery left still it's boot looping I don't really know what's going on with the device or the battery is just giving up because it's a five years old phone and maybe the battery is, is like taking its last breath I will be finding out the issue after flashing a new custom ROM here and I will let you know in the comment section below to like update you that the issue is there or not or it's just a issue with the ROM so it could be two issues actually but other than that the battery actually holding power so there is no issue with that battery doesn't like degrade itself it is keeping the power without any issue and going with the application part we do have all the application we want it does come with GF so no need to flash GF separately and also we got MIUI camera which is working perfectly fine and we don't have any issue with MIUI camera and I did install Gcam here and it also working perfectly fine and sometime when I'm using Gcam the device get rebooted if I'm not plugged in so now as you can see the device is plugged in and sometime when I'm using like G like the device it's reboot itself and it boot loop 
I'm thinking like the, the issue with the ROM. Rather than that, the ROM is working perfectly fine. You are getting all the features and everything works flawlessly without those issues. And those are actually major issue if it's related to the ROM. If it's related to my device hardware, then it's not really a big deal. The ROM is perfectly fine. So should you install this ROM or not? I would definitely say don't install this ROM. But if you really want to explore this ROM, I will put the ROM link in the description below. You can download it from there and you can try it out. And that's all for today's video. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.